Hello, Internet. Uh, I'm going to show you today how to install Oracle VM Virtual Box Manager and install a version of Windows 7. You also need a Windows ISO on the Virtual Box. This is just an advanced tutorial if anyone wants to have a virtual box and mess around it. I'm making it because I'm going to break the virtual box and make tutorials on how to fix it. Um, so yeah. Uh, anyway, we start with your favorite browser of choice. I like Chrome. Anyway. You go to your favorite browser and you open up Google and you type in VMR box or you go to your address bar and you type in www.virtualbox.org and then bam it brings you here you say download virtual box you select which OS and see how it's got a multiple variety of OS's that it supports so it's great for backwards compatibility I'm actually going to do another tutorial of installing Ubuntu on the uh, virtual machine just because it's got some neat little tools that uh, I'd like to use on it. Anyway, that's for another video. So, you choose your link, you can download it. Um, it comes, you open your downloads, you install it. So, double click the application click next don't bother with any of this click next uh, click your options of choice and then yes and then install and away it'll go. Now that you've gone through that, you've gotten this window in front of you after it's installed and you say you want to run it. And you say you want to make a new virtual machine and you want to give it a name. So let's give it a name. Let's call it Harry. And it's going to run, Harry's going to run Windows and he's going to run Windows 7 32 bit. And we go next. And we give Harry some RAM. Two gigs of RAM for Harry. And now this is kind of an important thing to think about. The virtual hard disk. Um, so we want to create a new one. Or if you have one, import it. But since this is a tutorial, I doubt you have one. And then go create. Now this is kind of like a whole bunch of choices. I'm not going to explain all of them. I'm going to explain my choice and that's um, VHD and this virtual hard disk. And basically that's a file that is just written to and it expands. It can expand or shrink based on the need of the size of the actual uh, hard drive contents. So it says 25 gigabytes in the thing, but it doesn't actually take up 25 gigabytes uh, on the hard disk until there's 25 gigabytes worth of content in the file. Anyway, that's my choice, and I'm going to say next. And here's the screen that explains everything uh, that I just said, and you can fix the size so that it doesn't dynamically allocate it and that the file comes out as one big chunk but I like that dynamically allocating it just because it saves space and then uh, we give Harry his 25 gigabytes of brain power and then you power oh no wait you don't power him on you gotta give Harry um, you gotta give Harry an optical drive disk so let's give Harry a different disk. 
Anyway, long story short, Harry gets a disc. And power him back on. I'll just edit that out. So here we go to Windows Setup. And if you've only ever done this a few times, you can keep watching. If not, you can probably fast forward to the part where I open up the other virtual machine um, so we're gonna select our language blah 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 we're gonna select install now you've probably seen the screen a hundred thousand times if not you may be seeing the screen for the first time who knows now this screen it for me is because I've got a corporate edition of Windows um, so let's just pick one. We're going to go with Home Basic. We're going to accept the license agreement. We're going to go for a custom install. And we're going to point it to the 25 gigabyte high drive. And then you see this lovely screen, which basically. Um, you're going to see for the next half hour or so. But I've gone ahead and I've already installed one and I have another virtual machine running so I can show you what happens when that's done. So that goes through and installs everything and sets up your computer and then it comes to this screen. And now this screen asks for a username so we're going to give it a username and uh, that username is user because it's very creative. Instead of user PC, we're going to give it uh, PC Master Race. Uh, is its name. Uh, no password, because this is just a virtual box. I'm going to destroy this thing. Uh, ask me later. negative five or whatever your time zone is uh, uh, this is all up to you uh, most of you are probably at home network so I would just say home network I mean it's all virtual anyway so change to some other settings too oh wow so now we're finalizing Windows, and uh, I'm going to pause the recording until this is done, and then come back when it's over. Now here we are in our virtual machine uh, with it fully loaded. And now we can start messing it up. So I'm going to install the extra tools that... Uh, allow you to do a few things like drag and drop, copy and paste clipboard just a few nifty little like tools that uh, really make the, the experience complete and you can do that just by going to start up your virtual machine and just by going insert guest edition CD image and now you, once you insert that be prompted in the virtual machine and I'm just going to show you in a second to basically walk through the install so now that we're in the virtual machine we go insert guest additional image this pops up we go run virtual box tools say yes we go to next we continue next 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 nothing you need to change, no settings need to be 
modified so you can just click next to the whole thing and then click reboot now and then once that's done you should notice that if you have a file on your desktop and a file on your virtual machine you can drag and drop them both ways um, once you enable it now to enable it you go to the device menu you go to drag and drop and you go bi-directional or you can share the clipboard and you can go bi-directional host guest or guest to host which allows you to share one way or the other I just go bi-directional it's easier that's right I said it so Windows 7 starts bi-directional and to prove it uh, I make copy and paste my decompiler over and voila it's on the Windows machine so yeah thanks for watching my video and hopefully you can mess with uh, your virtual machine too